So we're on the last day of our second week at Heslington East. Uh, this is trench two, which is a bit busier than most of the other trenches. We've got at least three prehistoric or Roman roundhouses in the bottom part of the trench. And two of those are more or less in the same place, superimposed on each other, but they're not perfectly concentric. They, they overlap a little bit. So at the moment, we're trying to figure out which is the earlier and which is the later of the two. The third roundhouse over there, we're not going to be doing anything to till probably the week after next now. So we've had a pretty hard time so far because at the start of the dig it was dry as a bone and it was really difficult to clean anything. But uh, we got it clean, we got it beautifully clean. This team did a beautiful job cleaning it up and then it rained so heavily over the weekend and I thought oh, a bit of rain is what we need to make it all look shiny and new. And in fact, the rain was so heavy, it destroyed the surface completely. So we're back to square one almost in terms of being able to see what's what. But we're starting now to get into the individual features. We've got a hearth that Jody's excavating behind me. And we're starting to take out meter long segments around the, the circuit of the roundhouses. So hopefully that will show us uh, a differential distribution of fines around the circle of the outside of the house. So typically uh, roundhouses face either east or more or less southeast, perhaps towards the midwinter sunrise. So yesterday we extended our trench two meters further out to pick up the doorway of one of the roundhouses which was previously buried under half a meter of plough soil. So at the moment we're starting to tidy that up and for the doorway too. Right, um, so this is group three. Uh, we were digging up with the rest of the groups uh, for the first week and a half. Um, and we found that the very modern ploughing had destroyed everything that we like, might have found over there. So we've moved to this new area, which is next to where the uh, previous excavations had a lot of late Roman activity. And we've already found a lot of Roman artifacts in this area down here. Um, and up here, we've still got that modern ploughing destroying everything. But down here, we're hoping to find some features. Um, we've got some nice Roman, like pottery Roman glass. Yep. Um, this group is quite good because we've got quite a few different like I think we've got a few different courses and we've got um, a couple of international students as well so we're quite the diverse range so it's nice to see everybody's um, like angle that they're coming into it all with which is nice um, we found like some good stuff so far more in this trench than we have the other trench that was kind of kind of sad we were in there just kind of uh, digging out plough furrows so <laughs> but it's nice it's nice to um, have a few things so I think um, Eleanor found some like same ago, which is very exciting yeah. <laughs> um, so at the moment we're like kind of matticking to um, take off this like top layer um, we found like a couple of bits of bone and mainly like pottery uh, and stuff we have a piece of what looks like a plate like a Roman plate I don't know the like technical name Panos who's like my partner in this knows more about it than I do um, but that's pretty cool it's like the uh, most like obviously like to the untrained eye i.e mine um the most roman thing that we've found so far <laughs> which is pretty nice